Hello once again model car builders. My name of course is Trevor Slescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Welcome back to another Monster Hobbies model car garage show and tell video where I get to share some of my great model kits with all of you out there in internet land. So we have yet another 1932 AMT Ford Fiaton model car kit. This one I built for one of the Alberta World of Wheels shows back in the day. It again has the nice removable top. Now, uh, there was a problem with the original Ford Fiaton model kits that came in this box here from AMT around, uh, sorry, RC2. There was a problem in that they made the uh, Fiaton body, but they put in the interior from the Vicky kit. It was a minor mistake. They corrected it later on in the Street Roadster series, but this was a series that was just prior to that. So this car, there's a lot of neat things about it. I actually took the Vicky interior and I cut it like there and threw away this part. And I replaced the top with a sheet of evergreen styrene plastic, which I shaped into the top of the car. It actually worked out pretty well, considering there was not much to go on. And I've done an engine swap and a bunch of other cool things with the AMT 1940 Ford, the custom one, because that again is another trophy series uh, model car. So without further ado, uh, let's go down to the bench over there and I'll show you this amazing model and tell you everything that I did with it. Here we have our 32 Ford Fiat and a rat rod and I've made some major modifications in here again using trophy series parts. The grill, if you're wondering, is from the 34 Ford pickup truck, the AMT one. Actually, it was a Lindbergh one as well. You can find that out there. And I've used Tamiya clear or transparent green inside on the chrome. That was another old 50s trick, actually. So uh, as we turn this car around, you can see I used the drop axle, which came out of the kit. Same as on our um, red primered uh, rat rod. The engine in here is from the AMT 40 Ford the um, special Buick nail head. Again, I've wired it using that old distributor. And in case you're wondering about the fenders, where they came from, those were actually the kit fenders that I cut in this certain way. They used to call this bobbing the fenders. You can see our exhaust coming out the side here. This tail lamp in the back is again from the 34 Ford. The wheels in here are the ones from the kit which are actually 1970s, late 60s, early 70s wheels. Again, looking at the tail lamps, they are quite neat on the truck. So I used them here. Again, there's our uh, green in those wheels. They are 1970s slot mag wheels. And again, very nicely done. I drilled through the spark plugs to actually put the wires in. And I made my own exhaust manifolds just using a half round strip from Evergreen Styrene. Now we remove our top on our 32 Ford Fiaton. And what I've done inside is I've used the 40 Ford bench seat. And like I was saying in the intro, this interior was from the 34 Ford Vicky, which AMT uh, under RC2 erroneously put in there. The steering wheel is a chain wheel chain link and that's from our 1970 Chevy Impala lowrider or well it's a, the Impala has the lowrider ability in it <laughs> with the parts and again you can see the uh, 671 blower up there on that Buick nail head so quite a nice kit went together really well comes out really beautiful looking and again you've got your choice of either the stock ride height or the dropped front and rear axles and here we have our big 401 cubic inch Buick nail head with the 671 blower, which of course is driving our 32 Ford Fiaton. And this engine comes from the 40 Ford Coupe kit. The 40 Ford sedan has the Oldsmobile engine in it. But again, as you can see, if I just turn this up around into the camera, just how much uh, nice work I did with the wires going to the distributor 
as well as our manifolds. If I move the car forward, you can see that chain link steering wheel. And then moving it forward even more, there's our Maltese Cross from World War I. Um, this decal I actually made for my computer and printed it off. Put it on white decal film, but I made a bunch of these and they ended up cracking and shrinking and exploding and things like that. It was not a good day. But anyway, this is uh, one that actually survived on this homemade tonneau cover that I made using evergreen sheet styrene. Here we have the underside of our black primered 1932 Ford Fiaton. And as you can see here, I've used the kit supplied lowering package. This is our rear axle with the torsion bars, and it's got a differential with the universal joint in here, as opposed to the torque tube as of the stock version. There's our exhaust pipe sitting here, painted in white, gloss white. Our Buick mill with the green. And then we've got our front axle here with uh, torsion bars again, just to lower the whole thing down. This went together really well. I did not use the fuel cell because I think it stuck out over the side of the body or something strange. You can see the stock fenders here, how I've bobbed them down, just to give it more of a rat rod road racing kind of look. Overall, parts fit, everything was okay, and it is quite a fun model to put together. Well, I hope you enjoyed that review of my 1932 Ford Fiaton Super Custom Hot Rod, Rat Rod, I guess it is. And uh, if you've built this model in the past, what did you do to it? Uh, how did you customize it and all the rest? Let us know down in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share this channel with all your friends and family. Pound the notification bell because, hey, I got a lot of model cars that I want to show you. So if your notifications are turned on, you're going to be the first one to see it. And then we can have a nice discussion. And I want to know how you built your models and everything else. And if you want to share pictures of your models, do it on our Facebook page. I'll leave the link in the description below. So until next time, everybody, keep on model building. Well, I think that brings another great video to a close. It was real fun making it, and I hope you all learned something from it. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave those down in the descriptions below. And if you enjoyed watching these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Pound the notification button down below so that every time I make a new video, you're the first ones to see it. If you'd like to shop with us at Monster Hobbies, don't forget to check out our web address, www.monster-hobbies.ca. Again, I'll leave it in the description below. If you want to support us on Patreon, because, well, YouTube is... it We are monetized. YouTube does pay us, but it's sort of up and down based on views. If you'd like to support us with something a little more steady, visit our Patreon account like these great people here have done. Thank you all for your support over on Patreon. It's uh, pretty easy. I'll leave the link for that in the description below as well. Again, if you want to share some great stuff with us, do it on our Facebook page. And until next time, everybody, happy model building.